Hi, I'm Dr. Shantanu Sinha, consultant nuclear medicine, and I'm going to talk about nuclear medicine. It's as the name suggests, it deals with radioactive materials to treat and diagnose the diseases, and uh, it's a emerging concept. It has basically two branches: the diagnostic branch and the therapeutic branch. The diagnostic branch works on the principle of molecular imaging, and the therapeutic branch works on the principle of targeted therapy. Talking about diagnostic branch. I mean we have many imaging modalities like pet ct scanner cameras and the best part of the diagnostic branch is that we use our scans to diagnose any sort of diseases especially oncologic diseases to diagnose the treat at a very early stage because we are looking into the molecular and the functional part rather than on the anatomical imaging modalities like ct or mri by this i mean suppose if you are to image a tumor we will not focus on the tumor like when it's growing in size rather we would just pick it up in the initial stages when the functional changes are you know starting even in the molecular level so by that you are a step ahead of diagnosing the disease now talking about the therapeutic branch which i said that deals with the principle of targeted therapy by which i mean that we are going to kill only the tumor cells and spare the normal cells totally unlike chemotherapy and radiotherapy where we have killing of normal cells also so what we do like we have two advantages in this way we we kill the tumor cells with 100% accuracy and we spare the normal cells and we can give as much as radiation dose to the patient because we are aware of the fact that we are not going to affect the normal tissues and these targeted therapy has been started in case of a number of cancers like prostate cancer thyroid cancers neuroendocrine tumors liver tumors lymphomas and i i hope that in the near future the scientists will have such targeted therapies for almost all cancers so that we can have 100% accuracy in killing those cells So in our department of nuclear medicine in american oncology institute we perform a number of pet cts where we you know do a whole body imaging which which includes head to toe imaging in that way we can see the entire body where the cancer has spread i mean how how many active cells are there in the body and in that way we are helping the physicians the surgeons to decide whom to operate whom not to operate for which patients you need to go for chemotherapy or radiotherapy and also the treatment response evaluation at a very early age because probably you know the size remains same but the tumor might be inactive and that can be only picked up by pet ct so this is where we are actually a step ahead and pet ct has been a game changer over the last two decades we as a team will be uh, you know diagnosing more and more of uh, cancer patients at a very earlier stage and wish to add like a better life to them in terms of expectancy and quality of life thank you